Regarding your debate at the Creation Museum, are you worried about such events legitimizing or legitimizing unscientific slash dishonest thought? Uh, yeah, I'm worried about it. And what I would say to all of you who have uh, said you shouldn't even engage this guy because it draws attention to him, uh, I say you may be right, which is what that's how I respond. That's how, it's, how it's, you may be right. But I'll bet I, I believe that ultimately in maybe in as little as five years, uh, the awareness of this striking, thoughtless uh, uh, way of thinking worldview will be discredited to a greater extent. And my concern, as I've said many times, is the kids, the students, in especially the Commonwealth of Kentucky, Tennessee, Kansas, Oklahoma, Texas, where you have people running for office and running especially for school boards who want to suppress the fundamental idea in all of biology, the fundamental idea in all of life science. Suppose you had people running around suppressing plate tectonics. I mean, it, it, would, it, just be, it would be extraordinary, right? You, you wouldn't allow it as a voter and taxpayer. Well, this is the same thing, but we have this long history, especially in the United States, especially in that part of the United States, of trying to equate uh, the idea that evolution is a theory with the idea that evolution may not be true. And we can go on and on about this, but in science, a theory is the thing that allows you to make predictions. It's not a hypothesis or a wild guess. It's a specific thing. And so because it's specific, when people talk about it, they use the word theory. But that is that said... This is a deep concern, and I would say it's, it's a question whether the fundamentalist, thoughtless, creationist views, whether that base, that political base, gained more than my political base or the, the enlightened world or the outside world's political base. And I would say anecdotally, Kojo, the number of people have come up to me, the number of people who've texted me, tweeted me, like this question here on the radio— uh, we have raised awareness of this, of the potential for uh, suppression of science. We have raised awareness to an extraordinary degree. I thought it would be another college gig, some tweeting, some Facebooking, but it's turned into this worldwide deal with millions of people engaged, and I think that is ultimately to the good. 